What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine and we're out to do some more search and recovery diving today. Uh, this will be a commentated video. I know a lot of you guys have asked for that to make these videos commentated so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, this is more of a survey slash underwater search and recovery. I've got a gentleman who has a boat lift and every time he lowers the boat lift down into water, he says it's getting jammed up. It won't go all the way down and he believes something like a chair or something has fell off his dock and is actually wedging up underneath that boat lift. So my job is of course go down, do a survey, find out what's underneath there that's holding his boat lift up and not letting it go down. And then of course if it is a chair or something like that, I'm going to recover it for him. Or if it's debris, maybe it's a tree, a tree that's washed up under there, I'm going to of course remove it for him and get it out of the way of his boat lift for him. So that's what we're out headed to do. Like I said, I am going to commentate through this video. Uh, hopefully it won't take me too long. I've actually got a very busy day today. I've got open water students coming in uh, for classroom around one o'clock. I've got open water students going out to do checkout dives at 3.30. And then I've got another group of open water students coming in at 5.30 to go out and do checkout dives. So I've got a very, very busy day. I've got to rush over here real quick, get this knocked out, and hopefully we can get it taken care of without any incidences. But come along with us and we'll see what we get into. All right, guys, so here I am at the beginning of the dive, and the gentleman, the homeowner, had explained to me there's a lot of debris around the edge of the dock. So instead of trying to risk doing a giant stride and not knowing what I'm jumping into, uh, I just use this little stairwell there to, to walk down the water. I'll get my fins on, um, discuss it. You can see the homeowner there in the background. I'll discuss a few extra things with him and then I'll actually conduct the dive. And like I said, I'm trying to figure out why his boat lift will not lower down into the water column. And I'm also just doing a survey just to see what debris there. Uh, he's wanting it pretty safe for his uh, children and grandchildren to jump in. So here I am, I'm descending down. As you can tell, there's literally Christmas trees. You're gonna see a ton of these um, that's been thrown in over the years for the fish to create a fish habitat. And literally they are everywhere underneath his dock. So here I'm just swimming along, starting my survey, and just trying to make note of everything that I'm seeing, uh, depths, things like that. Here in a minute you'll see I'll check my uh, depth gauge on my computer there. I'm about six foot deep, continuing on down the incline. Um, and then of course I'll come to an obstruction here briefly, which I'll explain a little bit later in the video what it actually is. And then here you can see that there's a bar. Uh, it's just a, a square tubing bar that is sticking up out of the ground. And it, it's going straight up to the surface towards the back of the boat. Um, and what this actually is, it's part of the boat lift itself. It's one of the frame, or it's part of the frame to the boat lift that has actually broke off from the front of the boat lift um, and went down in the ground. And this is actually what's causing all the problems here. Um, he can't lower his boat lift because of this and recently our lake levels were extremely high so as he lifted his boat up uh, out of the water that bar as it fell was almost completely vertical and then as he lowered it back down the bar stuck which inadvertently stopped the boat lift from lowering there was a small chair which i'll get out here in a little bit as well because like i said this part, first part of the dive i'm just doing a survey just seeing what's under there seeing what debris under there uh, checking on hazards checking depths and then once i've kind of did a survey of the entire dock area then i'll go back and i'll start getting a debris here's another chair that i come across this is one of the ones that he said was down there and that he was worried that the chairs were causing the obstruction which now we've we found out that it was the the frame part of the boat lift not the actual chairs and so here i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one chair for him go ahead and bring it up to the surface uh, gets rid of some of the debris that's down there um, once i get it to the surface then i'll descend back down i'll remove two more chairs or at least get them out of the way uh, and then I'll, I'll start trying to figure out what to do with that bar
one of the problems that we had. This chair has actually got a cushion on it, and here he's handing me a knife. We're actually going to cut the cushion free because it's, it's pretty heavy with all the water in it. It's pretty much waterlogged, and so it's kind of difficult for us to get it up on the dock. So I'm going to cut this cushion free, and then after he's got it pulled up, I'll swim the cushion over to land, and we'll put it up. And that way he can let it dry out, and his wife can wash it or whatnot. And, uh, get it installed back onto the uh, back onto dinner. the chair itself. Where's that? There we go. <sighs> Do it. Oh, you're all right. We're gonna grab these other two chairs. They're the plastic ones. Yeah. Well, they're directly under, it's the problem. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Chair came with it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna drop and get those up. And here I'm just sitting back down. I'm gonna uh, go after the two plastic chairs that's under there. Uh, one I end up just moving. I don't actually bring it up. Uh, he requested that I move it to a different location because he's using it as a fish habitat. So I obliged him with that. Uh, this one's actually buried into the silt pretty good. So when I go to, to remove it, I ended up breaking off two of the legs. So this is the one I actually removed or put in a different area where it was out of the way so the children didn't get hurt when they jumped in, yet it still created a fish habitat for him. So I'm gonna get it up out of the silt here and then of course swim it over to a different area and uh, re-secure it to the bottom. Alright, and here I'm coming up on the second chair now. I'll try to get it up out of the water. Uh, I'm actually on the side of the dock. If you're facing the dock from land, I'm on the left hand side, which is where the children jump in and play. So I, I don't really want to just move this chair. I need to get it completely out of the water uh, because I don't want the risk of any of the kids to jump on it um, and get hurt. So I'm going to completely remove this one from the water and set it up on the deck. It's still in good shape. The legs ain't broke. So all he's got to do is just clean it up. And of course, he can uh, reuse the chair. Uh, during the summertime, but like I said, I don't want to get this one out so that the kids don't actually jump on it and get hurt when they're playing in the water. Alright, so I jumped forward a little bit here in the video. Uh, I'm going back down to check that bar, which I talked about earlier. And basically, it's just a bar that goes, it's part of the frame itself of the boat lift. And it's either broke off, either uh, a pin has been sheared, uh, or a bolt has just rusted out. And so I'm checking the other side to, to check on it. This, this is the right side of facing the dock. Uh, from land, this is what it should look like. And of course, the left side, it's actually hanging all the way down to the bottom. 
And so what I'm going to actually do is secure it in a manner to where it can be lifted up. Uh, the gentleman is actually going to hire a, um, a construction company that builds stocks to come in and repair this for him. Uh, there you can see the bracket and you can see there's no bar attached to it. So what I'm going to do is go back down here briefly and secure the bar with a rope so that when the construction company comes by, all they've got to do is just pull up on the rope, pull it back into position, and they can re-secure it with either a pin or a bolt system, either one. So let me, let me tie this off to it, and then we'll tie it to your dock, and that way all they've got to do is pull up on this to pull that bar up. Sound like a plan? Good deal. Uh, no, I think I should have enough room, because it's literally, it's about right here where your docking line is on your boat. It's literally right there. So now I'm making my final dive. Basically all I'm going to do is go down, locate the bar once again, which is not, not too difficult to find. It's, it's just laying there on the bottom. I'm going to secure it with a rope, bring the rope up to the surface, and secure the other end of the rope to the dock. So like I said, once the construction company comes down, all they've got to do is just simply raise the lift, pull up on the rope, which will line that bar back up. They can use it to secure it and hold it in place until they can get a pin or a bolt put back in place. Um, Anytime that you tie knots underwater, uh, please make sure you use the, the correct knot. Uh, a bowline is a very, very useful knot. We use it in all different types of marine environments, which I'm going to tie a bowline here around this one. Uh, but you can use a clove hitch. Uh, you, if you use square knots and stuff like that, always tie safeties into them. I really like a bowline just because they're so easy to do. Um, I've got videos in the past. I'll try my best to link them down below on how to tie a bow line if you need uh, help remembering how to do that. Uh, but basically all I'm doing is just creating a B, B for bow line, in the line. I'm wrapping around. The rabbit's going to come out of the hole. He's going to go around the tree and get spooked and he's going to go right back in the hole. That's going to create a bow line there. And then one thing that I like to do is any excess part of the line, I'm just going to tie it off as a safety. So you're going to see me uh, loop it one more time, just create a little knot there just as a safety. But a bow line is going to work good here in this situation. It's something that can be easily untied uh, when you want it to be untied, but yet it's going to be nice and secure. It's not going to slip on you or anything like that. So now that I've got that tied, I'm just going to make a slow, safe ascent to the surface, making sure my line don't get entangled in anything, and then I'll hand it up to the gentleman on the dock and let him tie it off in a manner uh, of if his choosing. And this way, like I said, as the construction company comes by to fix it, all they'll have to do is once the dock is raised, they can simply pull up on the, the rope or the line itself and hold the bar or the frame, if you will, of the dock in place. And that way it'll make it easier on them. They simply replace a bolt or a pin, everything's secure, and then very easily they can untie the rope uh, from the system itself and then uh, discard the rope if need be or reuse it for whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep, just temporarily lash it off. If it, if it won't reach, I'll tie it to this point right here. And we may be able to pull it up. Right, guys so we just got finished up uh, we had a successful dive we was able to clean up a little bit around his dock we did an underwater survey of it to try to determine what was keeping his boat lift from going down and what we were able to find out was two of the bars there's there's bars on each side of the boat lift that are horizontal and one of the two bars has actually broke free he's either sheared off a pin or a bolt has rusted out and just broke free and that bar has dropped down so instead of the bar being flat like this on the bottom of the boat lift it's actually angled like this so the bottom of it is actually touching the bottom preventing that boat lift from dropping any further than what it is but unfortunately today I'm not going to be able to repair it for him he's actually going to hire a local construction crew that actually built his dock system uh, to come in to do it it's marine construction we do a lot of work for them guys but to help them out I went ahead and took a rope and tied it off to the um, the bar system itself and then tied it to his dock 
So when Tony and the guys from Marine Construction get out there, all they've got to do is basically just pull up on the rope. That bar itself will be able to pull up and they can either bolt it or weld it back into place, whatever it needs to be done. But yeah, all in all, it was a good dive. Guys, if you like this video, you want to see more commentated videos like this, simply hit that like button. Drop me a comment down below if you got any questions on anything that I did. I know the visibility was kind of bad today. We've had a lot of rain here recently. But uh, I'm going to run in the restaurant here and get me something to eat real quick. I've got students coming in at 1 to do classroom part or the classroom portion of open water. I've also got students coming in at 3.30 today to finish up checkout dives. And I've got a third set of students coming in to start their checkout out dives at 5 30 so i've got a short period of time to eat here i've got to get back to the shop but guys i appreciate you coming on this video with me if you liked it simply smash that like button for me as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.